Oh, I apologies. There are no speakers. We did have two. My apologies. On which? On 21. Thank Sorry. you. Sorry. David Janay and Henry Harry. Sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. They're still here. Not a problem. I make mistakes all the time. This is good news. Oh, I wish we had a little more time. It's not unremarkable that our police department ranks the highest in the nation. We have the finest police department, the finest men and women in law enforcement in this entire country, and I've lived with them, worked with them for 18 years. You know, we heard the chance the nation is watching. You bet you they are. Boston, Seattle, New York, Atlanta. We have people there at Crime Watch and our national public <coughs> safety team. Some of you saw my comments and our colleagues' comments from those cities on the city's Facebook page. I don't remember how many of you here in the summer of 2003, and it took us a year to come back to you with a report, the kind of work that these officers did when the threat for Seattle too hit our city. Unfortunately, they weren't ready the day before a lawfully permitted, well-planned, orchestrated event. It came into our neighborhoods 200 at a time to overwhelm police resources and left carnage from downtown to East Sacramento. Maybe some of you remember the videos and the PowerPoint presentation we made to you. Our police department was listening. We put 120 combined hours between four volunteers out with these local citizens, our neighbors in the park, even up through the arrests. The only complaint we've heard is about jail. Jail's not a friendly place. But I tell you now that in our work with these folks and lobbying them not to engage in civil disobedience so that our police officers can return to our neighborhoods, we appreciate that. I want to close with this, if I may just take 10 seconds. 1992, we lobbied for the Clinton crime bill, the omnibus crime bill. But we agreed to something. The Congress agreed to something with the will of the people. Thou shalt not supplant. This is a band-aid. We lost 47 prosecutors in the district attorney's office, saved by a settlement with Chevron. I, I heard 167 positions from our police department. I'm glad these officers are back. I'd like to get some report backs on staffing levels in this city for the last 10 years. I think you'll find that we have not funded our police department for the amazing work they do on the streets, in detectives and investigations and in our courtrooms with our district attorney, that this capital city, that shining city on the hill that our public deserves. And Mr. Cohen, you remember those maps we talked about many, many Mr. years ago? Mr. Janae, that was more than Thank you very 10 much. seconds. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, then Henry Harry. Again, my apologies. Good evening, members of the Council again, Henry Harry. Uh, two things. The only reason why I came down to speak on this issue is because some folks in my neighborhood were under the impression that there was going to be some debate as to whether or not this money would be delayed. And they said, hey, go down and make sure you pass on that we wanted this money used right away. That's one. While I'm here, the other thing I will say is let's think toward the future. Three years down the road, this money runs out, and we need to be in position to pay for our own officers, so we shouldn't get caught off guard three years down the road. Thank you. Thank you.